In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new relight effect in DaVinci Resolve. It's a powerful new tool that allows you to add three-dimensionally accurate virtual lights to your scenes while color grading. I'm going to demonstrate how you can use it to relight this interview clip. This shot has a very contrasty lighting ratio. The key is bright, but the fill is dark. Now in past, I might have used a simple power gradient or a window, perhaps in combination with a magic mask to simply brighten one side of her face. However, this technique has several challenges. Firstly, motion tracking must be applied to match the mask to the talent's movement. This becomes more difficult the more that the model moves. And secondly, a real light would respond to the contours of the talent's face, creating hot spots and shadows. Our adjustment looks flat as it evenly lights everything within that mask. Let's try again, but this time with the relight effect. I'll make a version of my grade so we can compare the two techniques later. Find it in the list of effects and drag it into your node tree. Top tip, if you drop it on an existing connection in your node tree, you won't have to manually connect it yourself. By default, Relight shows you its relighting map preview. Using DaVinci's Neural Engine, it's correctly identified the three-dimensional objects in this scene. The on-screen controls allow me to manipulate the position of the virtual light. There's three types of light that you can use, directional, point source, and spotlight. A directional light has no fall off and is positioned outside of the frame. The point source can be positioned within the frame. The spotlight is similar, but gives you controls to focus the light in a particular part of the scene. The directional light will be better for this scene because I want to evenly relight her entire profile. Moving the position of the light within this circle allows me to control its direction. Think of this control like a dome. If I put the light in the middle, it's as if it's lighting her from in front. If I move it all the way over to the right hand side, it's as if it's lighting her from the far right hand side. Now, that position is a little bit too extreme for me, so I'm going to bring it back a little bit, put it somewhere around here, as if it's lighting her at a 45 degree angle. Now I've positioned my light, I can turn the preview off. Lighting changes are made with tools like your primary wheels, just like any other grade. I'll increase the gamma and add a strong purple hue. I like this look because it matches the lighting in other scenes in this video. In effect, the relight tool is working like a mask. It's simply controlling where the color corrections get applied in your image. Dialing in the glossiness and specularity really helps to make the light look less flat and interact more with the objects in the scene. Now this is looking really good but there's something I'd like to fix. The relight effect is also affecting the background of the image. I can combine relight with other tools like magic mask, power windows, or depth maps to control which parts of the image it affects. I'm gonna use the depth map to fix this. It's a perfect shot because she's got that beautiful separation between herself and the background. I'll create a new node to build my depth map. As all I'm doing with this node is building a key, it doesn't matter if it's not connected to my grade. I'll adjust the far and near limit to make the depth map sharper. I am a little concerned about losing some of her hair detail, so I'll expand and blur the mask. Once you are happy with the depth map, simply connect it to the key input of your relight effect. That makes such a huge difference and it's also incredibly easy to do. Now, depth map and relight are very computationally intensive effects to use in your color grade. So don't be surprised if you don't get real-time playback. But if you don't, it's not a problem, there's a way that you can. Simply turn on your render cache. It's in the playback menu. We're going to set it to smart. Resolve will now automatically mark processor intensive effects to be cached. You can tell these nodes are gonna be render cached because they've gone red. If I leave Resolve alone for a little bit, it will render cache those effects. You can tell when it's done because they'll turn blue. Let's check out the finished result. I'll turn on comparison view so we can compare it to the original image. It's a pretty dramatic improvement. 
Relight is a fantastic tool for creating realistic virtual lights in your color grade. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. If you found the video helpful, make sure you give it a like. And if you wanna see future tutorial videos about DaVinci Resolve, please subscribe.